I think you won the toss? Yeah, I won the toss, you're fielding. Why is that? Well, I think it's a uh, very change in the end, you know, because how much ever, however big a total you can get, but it can be chaseable in the end. So that's the only reason, and then we've done well against Australia, so that has uh, prompted us to, I mean, uh, chase. What sort of total do you think you would like to chase? Well, I think uh, 250, 260, we'd like to restrict them to as uh, short a total as possible, but uh, looking at the wicket, you know, I mean, uh, we have to really get those uh, quick wickets early. No team changes? No, not at all. Oh, okay. All the very best. Thank you. Salim, so your batting, is that good news? Well, like uh, last game we played, if we did like that, I think it's a good news. What sort of total will you tell your guys to aim at? Uh, as many as we can. Okay, 260, 270 may be enough? More than that. <laughs> you hope. Any team news? Uh, we're playing with the same team. Okay, great atmosphere today. Yeah, lovely. Nice day and good crowd. And I hope uh, everyone uh, enjoy the match. Good luck. Thank you. Well, Salim obviously hardly thrilled with the idea of batting first, but in the first five, he has the best batting lineup in the world. No changes, meaning he has Akram, Aturaman, Akif Javed, and the off-spinner Raza as his main bowlers. The films will be Malik himself, Asif Mushtaba, possibly Sahail. India's main bowlers, Srinath, Venkat Prasad, Kumble and Chahan, with Tendulkar and Tadeja sharing the fifth bowling spot. Their top six batsmen, a frightening prospect for any attack. And there's the first ball. And it's played to square leg. And that's the first one for Pakistan. Kumble running across the mid arm, one for no wicket. That's a big outside edge, it's coming down to third man, it's four runs. Fine shot, pass the ball on the outside, it's got to be four runs to the long off boundary. The Dade will not cut it off. And he's got that through. Cambly giving chase. Just a couple. He may just get there. But he's picking him up off his legs well. Three more. But he's just flipped that away. Disdainfully, he's really moving into gear now. And the pressure is easing on Pakistan. And even more so after that. Now Saeed Anwar takes up the challenge. That's four more. Jadeja giving chase. A couple. Tremendous excitement. And that's gone. Superbly timed. He just went on it and away it went. We'll see here. Uh, I'm saying coming forward to it. It wasn't really half one. It was on the top. That was definitely the best shot so far. Middling the ball and spin. He's been under the cosh. But then, the line that, of course, the supporters of both the teams. Oh, he's got him again. And he just picks it up. When he's in form like this, he can destroy anybody. We have nine over and three not. When he goes to Amir Suhail, run the wicket, he managed to cut him in. But side that way here, in the right slot for him. And that's all right. The first ball misdirected down the leg side, swept. If it doesn't matter, it's so hell this morning. Short fine leg was out. Oh, and that's done it. It's four slips for non existent slips. It's four runs. What a marvelous play. It was well up to Saeed Anwar. He hit it very hard into the mid off gap, but beautifully struck boundary he was charging down the wicket made a of room and a brilliant stroke seems to be getting in his strides Kumble must be really thinking as to why that's going to be four 
down to the long leg boundary, beautifully turned. He got to the pitch of it, three time, four runs. Yes, well, he, he's got the man up inside the circle there around the corner, that's Sidhu. And he's got a man out in front of square, so we're still within the first 15 overs. Cut square of the wicket, it's going to be four to the deep backward point boundary. Down the wicket he comes, it is going to be a six, is it? We'll have to wait for the umpire signal, and it is a six. The crowd tell it all. Wicket. Look how he pitches this. He knows there's a long arm out there to get a wide of that fielder. And that... Down the wicket he comes, it's up in the air, he could be out for it, and he's gone. Not too much of a chance here, tries to hit it over long arm for six, or maybe he went towards mid-wicket, I would suspect that was the case. But we have Prasad, and look how he looks anxiously after he takes it to see where the boundary is. He looked around there, but he was clearly inside, a delighted Prasad. Pakistan wins their first wicket at 96. And that is 52. Curious passion. He plays a magnificent shot. And here, Tendulka. It's gone fine. Ben Kaprasad making the chase. Saves the four, but they're through for a couple. Ah! And that's a very good piece of work. A brilliant piece of work by Mungia. There you see, indeed, it's a magnificent piece of uh, stumping. Oh, 125 now for two. Ah! And he's gone, he's caught the short little wicket. Sonny Malik is out, another wicket for India, and this really is a tremendous breakthrough. Two wickets in this over. Oh, there you see, quite a delivery, coming in not on top of the ball, straight, straight to Azur Rubin at short mid wicket. down and India on top. Sahail struggling as I've just outlined to you and the frustration there and also Srinath there really see the pressure on his face and his reaction in taking that wicket so Pakistan now lose their fourth at 149. Here he is to pass it. It's a good stroke in his four runs he hit that one perfectly. It really was a good sweep that by too much. shot there, it could be four runs, but it may be cut off just inside the boundary line. And they go two for two. He moved away, past his uh, up. And that's going to go for four, almost certainly, once again, giving himself room and lofting it over cover. One, nine, three for four in charge. Well, this is Basadali in true form. Smacking it, it almost went for six. I thought it was going to disappear up into the stand. Oh, what a great shot. Six over mid wicket. He just walked into that. What a beautiful shot. Down the wicket he comes. He's gone two for a single. It's 50. Coming back for the second. 51 to Barset. Barset. In the air, he could be gone. Oh no! It's through his hands, is it? We'll have to wait for the replay to six. Bowden! He's swing though, trying to hit him through mid wicket. Cross bats it, and just before lunch, not a very good shot to play from the Pakistan point of view. A marvelous breakthrough for India. <laughs> when Pakistan were going along so nicely. We see a terrible slog like that from Abbasid Ali, but what a good hand he's played for his 50. He's gone, caught by Azhar, and the wicket 
that has fallen in the sea on replay. It's full and wide, and he just angled the bat up rather than closing the face on it, and it flew with the pace of the ball from Srinath straight to Azza. He takes the catch, and now Pakistan 2-1-9 for 6 of them. And that could be four. The ball traveling quickly. Kumbhakar getting to it. And it's through him. A dive could have saved it. That could be four runs. There's a fielder lumbering after it, and it's gone to four. Puts the by the batsman. He drives into the covers. It'll be just a single. And exactly 250 for six at the end of the 50th over. 2-5-1 the target. Said Anwar caught Prasad bowled Johan 47. Sahel bowled Sid. The bowling figures, Sid in half, 10 overs, no maidens, 3 for 55. Prasad, 9 overs, 1 maiden, none for 45. So far, Shahjah Wazim has been a little wayward, particularly in his opening spell. Shot four runs. Two extra cover. What a beautiful shot! Oh, we'll just watch it again. Full top, and it's up in the air. It's a cover by Amir Sahel. He put it away, and it was wide. But Tendulkar went at the shot too quickly. He hit it on the up with the bat coming upwards, and Sahel taking a good catch. Down in front again. A 
Messi as it had been trying to steer the ball away and it only succeeded in giving a catch to the wicket keeper. Gets wickets, that's why the scoring rate is dropping. Yes, if he had hit it without moving down the pitch, it might have gone straight for six. He got a bit close to it. Here's the six again. Just look at this. Passes down the wicket. Beautifully timed. Minimum of effort, and it went way, way over. And he's gone again. And this is long, very long. Long leg, deep mid wicket, and long off and long on both wide. Does Badadi as if he could do that all day? Oh, he's able to pick up the ball and then send it all with a flick of the wrist. Pure timing. Well, now you can understand why he's drawn such a following in India. That's gone wide. And it's through Mushabha the fielder. Now that was risky. The little man seems to have matured very quickly. He's gone for that one. And he's over him. It's six. Akib Javid just has got to come down, but not quickly enough. And another six. Four sixes he's hit now. That was a great effort, though. You have to say. It was a good hit, but, you know, let's just watch Akib. He tries his best. He's completely on his toes there, and yet the ball is just a little bit too high. From Pakistan's point of view, they need a wicket. It's in the air. He could be caught here. He's back with four of the years. He's out. It's Asif Mustafa who's taken the catch and the catch. And that very much has leveled the game up again, if not tilted it over towards Pakistan. Yes, they have. The game has gone towards Pakistan now because they've just got one more wicket left. Well, it will go down to the wire. That's up in the air. And he's going to be out of the He decided he wants a single. So look at that. Now, that is, I would call that embarrassing. It's up in the air. But he couldn't get under it. His innings at 56 comes to an end. 182 for 7 India. Coming back for the second. And Alan Mateen for the run out. And once again the third umpire comes into question. Let's watch it, Glenn. He will extend his bat. Look if he extends the bat or not here. Well, perhaps I've done him an injustice, but look, it's going in the yeah. air over the line. That's no good. You've got to ground it before you get there. That's definitely out. And so Chowan, not knowing how to run his bat, look here, he dabs it in. Oh, yes. The bat is high up. Yes, it's, and it must be grounded, so he must be given there. Yes. He's gone. And uh, whereas Kumle got the decision, or Kumle got the decision in his favour, satisfactory Indian scoreboard their main batsmen all got themselves out rather unwisely and stupidly and by the end the target of 251 looked further away than it should have done the bowling well Wazim Akram was tremendously quick even on this dead pitch and the rest of the bowlers did a thoroughly good job for their captain Prasad the batsman oh dear it went through and hit the back pad some reason he missed it and great relief there on the pace of Akram Prasad bewildered as to where it had gone it would have hit if it hadn't hit him so Pakistan win and 
they win by 39 runs.